But then we have people like these. Before I begin my next story, in fact, I want you to see some images. These are images of leaders from around the world getting vaccinated. Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, getting the shot. Reuven Rivlin, the President of Israel, also being vaccinated. Tawfiq al Rabaya, the Health Minister of Saudi Arabia. Mike Pence, the Vice President of the United States, some of the world's most powerful individuals, getting the jab on camera. They are trying to boost shaky public confidence on the safety of vaccines in their respective countries. Now look at these visuals. These are from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Thousands flocking to the city's famed beaches. As the summer starts in the southern hemisphere, no masks, no social distancing, just some volleyballs and lots of beach umbrellas. What explains this? The never-ending uh, never pandemic denial of this man. Jair Bolsonaro, the president of Brazil, the Trump of the tropics. In fact, comparing him to Donald Trump would not be appropriate anymore because Mr. Bolsonaro is in a league of his own when it comes to denying the severity of this pandemic. When Brazil became the second most infected country in the world, Mr. Bolsonaro was out eating hot dogs and sipping on soft drinks. He said he cannot afford to impose a lockdown. When some Brazilians demanded a lockdown, his government organized anti-lockdown rallies. The 65-year-old attended these rallies. He posed for selfies. He, he hugged young children. Now, when countries across the world are rolling out vaccines, when there finally seems to be some hope on the horizon, Mr. Bolsonaro says he's not going to take a shot. Why? Because he's already had the virus and has now developed antibodies. So why take the vaccine at all? His exact words. Here they are from the horse's mouth. If you do not want to be treated, you have the right not to be treated. I decide, for example, not to do chemotherapy, and I decide to die. It's my problem. And we in the federal government have already informed that once the vaccines are approved by the health regulation agency, the vaccine will be offered to everyone. But those who don't want to take it, do not have to. I will not take it. Some people say I'm setting a bad example. They say I'm an idiot. I've already had the virus. I have the antibodies. Why take the vaccine again? Who can argue with that? The denial is bad enough. What follows is even worse. Mr. Bolsonaro, the president of Brazil, is also sowing skepticism talking about the potential side effects of this vaccine. And this is beyond anything we've ever come across. The president has suggested that there's a possibility that the vaccine can turn people into crocodiles, alligators. I'm not making this up. He says the vaccine can make women grow a beard and men talk like women, whatever that's supposed to mean. Bolsonaro says if any of this happens, it won't be his fault. You have to listen to this. And another thing that has to be made very clear here is that at Pfizer, it's very clear in the contract, we are not responsible for any side effects. So if you become an alligator, it's your problem. I'm not going to talk about another animal because it would not be wise. But if you become a superman, if some women start to grow a beard or if some men start to talk like women, it's not going to be my fault. They are playing with our immune system. How can you force someone to take a vaccine that hasn't even completed the third phase? You saw that. A head of state peddles such wild and far-fetched theories. And the audience responds with an applause. These are seriously crazy times we're living in. And this is no laughing matter. Brazil is the third worst hit country in the world. Leaders in other severely hit countries are taking measures to stop the virus from spreading. Even the US president has apparently started taking the pandemic seriously, but not Jair Bolsonaro. He continues to live in another reality and is constantly ensuring that the infodemic curve does not flatten. We say it's better to grow a beard or even turn into a crocodile than be dead. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Rion, world is one.